Good morning, everybody. Today we're going to be testing out NARS's new Natural Radiant Long Wearing Foundation. I've got mine in the color Vanishment? Vanishment? I think that's what they call it. Vanishment. And it cost me $49 for one fluid ounce, which is standard for your higher priced foundations. The color that I got says that it is a, it's medium with a neutral balance of yellow and pink undertones. So this is why I got it. When you look on their website or on uh, Sephora or Ulta's website, it's kind of difficult to pick out your color. Um, because of the description of what they have and the names of the foundations. I kind of went as neutral as I could, which is peach and yellow undertones, and I was hoping that this color was going to match. And for the most part, it does, so um, I'm happy about that. It says, meet our natural radiant long wear foundation. This first 16 hour fade resistant foundation that improves skin by the hour and stays true. Skin recognizing pigments match your skin tone, develops your most authentic coverage yet. While NARS Skin Optimize completes refines skin complex, refines skin from the inside out. Its full coverage never masks skin but stays breathable and with an unstoppable natural looking finish. Um, it comes in 33 different colors which is really nice. I'm not too sure about the light colors and the deep colors. I'm kind of in the middle of that so I'm happy that I was able to find something that matched me. So it says to use your fingertips to apply this. So that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to go ahead and use my beauty blender to use the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a good shake because it says to shake it very well. And I've got my regular um, Smashbox primer on, and I've also got my pore minim minimizer from Smashbox as well. And I did spray my face beforehand with the Smashbox setting primer. Alright, so I'm going to give it a good shake. I'm going to just pump it here. I have been wearing this, so I know what it's going to do. Do you see how that's all it gives you with one pump? It doesn't give you very much. So let's go ahead and get a little bit closer. So we can see here. And it says to start here. And then with your fingers, blend out. And I normally don't use my fingers at all, but since that's the only option that they're giving us to try, we're gonna go ahead and try that today. Um, I have used it with a blend beauty blender and it works just fine. So I'll do the other side with the blender so you guys can see. But I feel like it's I'm getting more coverage with the blender, or with my fingers, than I do with the blender. So I have to use two pumps for one side on my face with the blender, and right now I don't. So, all right. So here's the one side here with just using the fingers. That's pretty good at coverage. It blends out really well with your fingers. Um, again, I'm not used to that, you know, procedure of doing things, but it looks pretty well. Um, it definitely just kind of sinks right into your face so it doesn't look over cakey but I feel like the coverage is really good for just blending out with the fingers. So let's go ahead and go on the other side with the blender. One more pump and again the pumps are super tiny. Alright, so here's the side with the blender. I feel like they both look pretty similar, except for the blender side, of course, sucked up a lot of the foundation. So it may be easier to go in with your fingers, like it says on the instructions, which I wasn't doing the last couple times that I wore it, and then go in afterwards with the blender if you need to add more product or whatever. Like I said, this is one pump here. It's very tiny, very minimal, so this will last a long time. I'm just going to put a little bit more in the centers of my face and then some areas that I think I, I need a little bit more coverage and let's see what happens there. I'm just going to use the blender for that. There we go. It definitely covered up those red spots that I have on my face there just by using a little bit more. All right. So at this point I've used three pumps and I think it covers my face very well with three pumps, but they're very small little pumps. It's nothing, you know, it's not like huge gigantic pumps like you're, I'm used to. They're pearl size and that's what the description said that they would be. So it does very well of covering your face. When you get like a pearl size and I've used three pumps, that's like a normal pump for me out of other foundations. So that's really good. Um, it feels super lightweight on the face. I feel like it covers really, really well. 
it just kind of it feels like a BB cream in a way like it just kind of you know melts right into the face which is pretty awesome and I love the way it makes my face look um, I was wearing it on my last couple of videos that I did and those are filmed after you know a couple of hours of wearing it so um, it looked really really well so let's go ahead and wear it all day long I'm gonna um, definitely set it set it today with a setting powder which is just going to be the peach perfect i'm also going to be using some shape shape tape under my eyes um just because i haven't been getting much sleep and i have bags under my eyes and i'm just going to do my regular contour and stuff like that so i'll be right back to let you know what it looks like with other makeups and how it performs because even though some things can look really really nice when you put it on makeup on top of it could easily move it around so it is 6 53 in the morning right now I'll be right back. I'm going to go put the rest of my makeup on and I'll show you what it looks like at that point. I do feel like it dries down really, really well. So it does. It's dried down really, really well. So I'll be right back, guys. I'll show you what it All looks right. like. So here's the finished look. Everything goes on really, really nicely. As you can see, I'm kind of dewy in a way. Um, I think that's where the radiance comes from, but it's super matte at the same time, which is kind of a weird combination when you think about it because it does feel really matte on the face. But you can see, I don't have any highlight on today. I, I didn't put any highlight on. I did put a matte blush on from uh, Tarte. But there's no highlight on. And you can see how my face kind of looks just a little dewy. I, I hope you can see that in the camera. On my nose, on my eyebrows, you know, just just a little bit dewy which makes sense because it does say radiant on there um it does say it's a long wearing so we're gonna wear it as long as we can um i usually wear it for about 11 to 12 hours depending on how my day goes so i'll definitely be back in the middle of the day to show you what it looks like at about five four to five hours and then um at the end of the day again to show you how long it actually lasted on the face now i did spray my face with the urban decay all nighter so um, I usually do that with all of my foundations, so um, I do have a setting spray on there. I forgot to use the shape tape, so there is no concealer on my face right now. It's just all the foundation. Sometimes that happens when I'm putting on makeup. I completely forget what I'm doing. But I did set everything with the Peach Perfect um, powder, so um, my face is set but no concealer on today. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and wear it all day and see how it looks throughout the day and if it changes, if it cakes up, if it starts removing itself. Um, right now it feels super lightweight. I can't feel it on my face and I feel like it looks really, really pretty as well. It's not caking in the fine lines on the sides of my face, not caking in the really deep lines on my forehead. I have nothing going on in my nose area it's just kind of sitting really really nice within my skin and not on top of my skin which is something that i really like about foundations when they do that that it just looks super natural and this looks really really natural on my skin so all right guys i'm gonna head to work and i'll be back in a couple of hours to show you what it looks like and then again at the end of the day Hi so guys. i'll talk to so you guys I'm later gonna be doing my first check-in at five hours on my phone i'm gonna be staying at work today for lunch so i'm not gonna be at home with my regular camera so i hope that you're able to see what the check-in looks like through the phone camera fingers crossed this works out so it is right now 11:54 in the afternoon which means we've had this on for about five hours and so far the foundation is doing really really well let me grab a mirror so i can see what i'm talking about here but yeah okay so um it still looks really good on the face let me get a little bit closer hopefully you can see it's not kicking up in the nose area it's not kicking up in my forehead lines and it seems to be holding on really well in my t-zone area where i would normally get you know foundation fading at about this time of day so it's doing really well i do look kind of hydrated and dewy which is okay but i don't look like super oily which is good for this foundation so i'm pretty impressed by that I did notice right here I have like a smile line where it's starting to build up there and a little bit on the sides of my face where I have like smile lines but it's not gathering in the lines on my forehead or on the sides of my eyes here. So I think it's just where you, you, you know your expressions are and you talk and you move it may gather a little bit so you may need to take care of that throughout the day just to make sure that you don't have any like lines coming up. But other than that so far so good at five hours. So we'll be back in another four to five hours to show you what it looks like at the end of the day. But so far so good and I hope you guys are able to see that within this video. So I shall talk to you guys in a couple of hours and all right guys. So bit. it is the last check-in of the day. I'm hoping I can get my phone to download 
showed the video that I had in for the second check-in so hopefully that worked if not I have some pictures of the check-in at five hours but here is a 10 hour check-in we've had this on since seven o'clock this morning it is now exactly five o'clock in the afternoon so for 10 hours this foundation has done a pretty good job I'm a little dewy but I was dewy at about five hours and I think that's you know the hydration part of this are the radiant natural radiance of this foundation so it doesn't look bad it did fade away a little bit here on the sides of my face I have had some acne breakouts lately and it's just like hormonal stuff so um, it didn't really cover it all that great this morning but it was more covered this morning than it is at this point so it is a little fady here and here it didn't really fade too much here in the middle of my face um, on the tip of my nose the foundation has completely faded away at I would say it started doing that at about six hours or so I'm just gonna take one of these papers here and just kind of see what it looks like after we do that because it's been like this all day kind of dewy kind of you know radiant looking on the face so let's see and it does take off some of the oils and it does take off some of the foundation as well but not too bad so now that I've done that, you can see where the foundation has definitely faded away here and here in my T-zone. So it still doesn't look bad, but it's not completely on the face anymore. So at 10 hours, I would say that it's really starting to break itself down. And within another couple of hours or so, it's going to be completely off the face. So that's where we're at at 10 hours with this foundation. It's a good foundation. Is it worth $49? I would say, I don't know. It just depends on your level of where you wanna be at 10 hours if you have an oily T-zone. If you don't have an oily T-zone, if you have normal or dry skin, I think this is a perfect, perfect foundation for you. It is medium to full coverage. It will last you all day. Um, and for the most part it has on my face it's just starting to fade away in the t-zone area where i get oily so that's something to keep in mind if you do have oily skin even with setting it and all of that kind of stuff throughout the day it may start fading away at about 10 hours or so but other than that i think it still looks great um compared to you know other foundations that I've tried out but again for the $49 that's going to be up to you if you're wanting a foundation like this that makes your face look really nice it's very comfortable on the face but it does start fading away um, on my face at about six hours or so all right guys so that is my review again I hope the pictures or the video that I have on my phone will show up on this so you can see the mid check-in if not this is going to be a very short video so I hope you guys have a good afternoon let me know if you have any questions about this foundation and I shall talk to you guys sometime within the week bye